The story we've been running this whole morning, troubled Eteguini Mayor Zandile Gumete's 30-day special leave expires today. The question is, will she return to work or not? Meanwhile, the ANC remains mum on whether Gumete is coming back to her mayoral office. Her supporters have held several marches demanding her reinstatement. Uh, for more on the story, we now cross live to our reporter, Ayanda Mklongo, who's been tracking the story for us. A very good morning to you, Ayanda. We might be talking about the expert of the leave period today but let's just quickly recap especially in terms of her supporters insistence that she be reinstated how strong is that push Yeah, very good morning uh, to you, Desiree. Certainly, over the past month, uh, during the leave of absence of uh, the mayor of Eteguini, Zandile Gomede, we've seen uh, protests uh, taking place here in the uh, city, uh, two led by uh, her supporters. And the last um, uh, protest march taking place last week, Friday, that was by the ANC Women's League here in the Eteguini region. And, of course, they are demanding uh, that the the mayor uh, be uh, reinstated or that she go uh, back to office. It's not the only uh, point that they were raising at days. There was also uh, the matter of the city manager and there have been repeated calls uh, for the city manager Siponzuza to also uh, be uh, suspended. But they've been adamant uh, on their point and saying and even going as far as to threaten that they will bring uh, the city of Durban to a standstill if they or if the ANC leaders uh, do not exceed to their uh, demands uh, and ensure. But uh, it's been a month now of those protests. There's been countless meetings as well. Uh, some are not reaching, of course, uh, the out outcomes that uh, the, uh, th those uh, ANC members who are supporting uh, the uh, mayor would have wanted. Uh, in fact, there has not been much of a, a decision really uh, since uh, the party uh, requested that she take that uh, leave of absence. Uh, the ANC seemingly firm on its uh, decisions that it will amongst the leaders of the ANC uh, within the time that they'd requested for her to take a leave of absence that they were going to then make that decision. And as you were saying, Des, they have uh, since then been mum. Even this morning, we have repeatedly tried to uh, get into contact with the secretary of the ANC Mdumsen Nduli to find out what the decision uh, of their party uh, is going to be. And we haven't yet been able uh, to uh, speak to him. But I also I just uh, spoke to Mr. Mzo Dube, who's one of the leaders here in the region of uh, Zandile Akumeda's supporters and he was saying to us uh, just a minute ago that there has not been uh, any word uh, from the party but their main point has been uh, is that they feel that the ANC has not been consistent uh, in their decisions. They're saying that there's been ANC councillors uh, one uh, who is still uh, behind bars after he was uh, denied bail. Um, there's been councillors as well who have been arrested for more serious cases uh, like of murder. Uh, there's also the issue of the secretary of uh, the Kizengambanza region, which is in the area of Guatuguza, who was convicted and sentenced to 14 uh, years imprisonment. Although he is appealing that sentence, but they feel that the ANC did not take a decision as drastic, in their words, as they've taken against uh, Mayor Kumet and saying that they believe that uh, 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 this is more of a political uh, decision uh, rather than it being a fair uh, a decision uh, because if it was fair it would have meant that the ANC then would have taken the same decision and been consistent with all uh, members of the ANC who have been found wanting. Ayanda what influence and how strong is that influence of the ANC Women's League in the province and how much can their pressure uh, direct how the mother body uh, moves from here on? Well, Des, if we look at the protest uh, that they held uh, last week, uh, um, the, the ANC Women's League here from, from, from uh, the region, one was um, when the branches uh, marched, we saw uh, the ANC uh, insisting that it, the members of the PSC, in fact, uh, Mr. Uh, Mike Mabiakul, who is the deputy chairperson of the, of the ANC, was tasked to go and meet with uh, the district 
disgruntled uh, branch members. But when it came to uh, the Women's League, on the day that they uh, protested, they just merely asked an official of the ANC to go out and uh, take or listen to them and hear their grievances. We did not see any members of the PEC coming out uh, to speak to the ANC. Now, if that is anything to go by, uh, Des, it would show that they probably uh, do not, were not taking them as seriously as they would um, the other uh, members or the main uh, 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 members of the uh, respective branches uh, that had come out. We have not heard them coming out and responding uh, to the ANC Women's League. As I said, unlike when the branches uh, 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 came out uh, to, uh, to protest, we saw a meeting. Uh, in fact, there's been at least two or three meetings that have been held uh, in private by the ANC uh, leaders uh, with those at disgruntled branches. The same cannot be said uh, about the Women's League. So it seems that really it's these branches. And again, that days we must say that there's about 110 branches of the ANC here uh, in the Etiguini region um, and during those uh, uh, protests we saw at least about 10 of them being represented so that also just shows that we must also say that it's not all of the branches of the ANC some uh, uh, who have not been part I have been in communication with them asking what their feelings are and they saying that they want to leave this matter uh, to the ANC leaders and um, that there's other issues that as the ANC they should rather focus on and that this is not it is it's not an issue that they really want to involve themselves on so it is uh, but a fraction of the branches in Eteguini that we've seen uh, come out and one of the points that we even uh, saw and picked up on is what one of the branches was that they also brought in uh, workers from the EPWP pro, um, program to be part of the protest one presumes that it was for them to uh, to go to show or get more numbers uh, we don't know um, um, but uh, uh, just the, the point is really that it's not all the ANC branches that have come out, but the party has uh, tried uh, to listen uh, to those that have come out. But whether or not they've agreed with them, it seems that it has not uh, been the case. The Democratic Alliance has threatened to stop Ms. Gomede from returning to office. Just in terms of numbers in government, uh, how can they, can they carry this threat through? Well, certainly, there's the opposition parties uh, and some civil organizations have indeed said that they'll be monitoring closely uh, what has uh, been happening. Uh, and, of course, the Democratic Alliance uh, being one of those uh, parties. It's merely at the moment been what they have reported and threats uh, from those uh, parties and uh, the uh, civil organizations. There's, I think, uh, as we said, that today is her last day. Tomorrow, she is expected to uh, return uh, to uh, work. But there's, we're also picking up uh, that uh, there could be an extension uh, to uh, this leave. But we're on the story throughout the day and we'll be updating our viewers on it. Well, thank you very much uh, for that update. Uh Ayanda Mshongo coming to us uh, from uh, uh, Etawini, uh, an update on the fate of uh, Mayor Zandile Gumede.